what is considered a great day in retirement. Hey, this is Mike from the Retirement Train Straight Talk, where I give you the simple truth every day in every video from my perspective. All right, well, this is a different sequence for me today. It's in the afternoon. Uh, I was busy this morning uh, dealing with other things in life, but, you know, I just wanted to give this some thought and spread it out to you. A lot of things on the internet about, you know, what's considered a great day in, in retirement and everybody's day is different. I can just tell you my day is a little bit more busier than a lot of retirees. Um, I don't like sitting around, and, although I can, that's the great thing about retirement. You have no real schedule if you don't want to, if you don't need to, or, or if you don't want to. It's your schedule, it's your time. But I like, I'm always been regimented. And so I like to have some type of format in the sense of what I'm doing. I keep a calendar. Uh, uh, you know, we, we stay busy. Um, although this week we've been slacking because we've been weak, still a little bit weak from COVID. We're just getting over that now. I'm still having a few stomach issues, so I'm trying to get through that as well. So, But other than that, I thought I want to hit on a few things, and that is, you know, what makes everybody's retirement unique and satisfying to them? It's just that. It's everybody's unique retirement. Now, I'm the type of person who, you know, I'm not like the average retiree, uh, you know, get up at 9, 10 o'clock. Um, I, I just don't do that. 6, 6.30, I'm kind of up. I, I like to spend a lot of my time talking to people about their money habits, okay? Obviously, that's what this show is about, retirement, and somewhat of money habits, right? You know, uh, I talk to my relatives about it, what they're doing, how they're doing, um, and not to be nosy, but to actually help them out because, you know, once you stop working and you haven't planned for retirement, then that becomes a problem. And it's free advice. They can take it or leave it. I'm not going to steer them in the wrong direction. I don't tell them what to do with their 401ks, what to invest in. I just make sure they're investing in something, putting money away for the future, right? That's important. So I spend my day doing that. We have a lot of relatives in the area. Um, I should say in Virginia Beach and here. So it's nice to just to talk to them, see how they're doing. And I spend time with retirees in the area as well. And just, you know, having a good day. So a lot of the times I get up early in the morning. And I just, you know, what makes a good day for me is getting up and getting my body energized. Because when you get in your 60s and so forth, you need to keep walking and moving and steady moving. Um, again, I don't sit down and really sit still unless I'm reading a book or what have you to keep the mind working and so forth. Or I'm just out in the yard or backyard or doing something somewhere, uh, taking mama shopping, doctors, the typical stuff you do because you can time things a little bit better when you're retired. I don't need to worry about the traffic because I can time the day. If you're young enough to retire in your 50s, that's even better. Um, although you have a lot, you have a lot more time in retirement. So you need to figure that out a little more steadily in the sense of what you're going to do in retirement. But everybody's day is different. And it's what makes retirement so unique. If you want to get up and go fishing if you like, you can go do that. Uh, there's no set time to do anything and your day is yours and your time is yours. But for me in particular, and my wife, my wife is a little bit different. She likes to sleep in a little bit. She stays up a lot later than I do. God bless her. I, I, I'm, I'm just worn out by a certain time. My body, I guess my time clock, internal clock tells me, hey, it's downtime. And we all have the aches and pains when you're in your 60s, you know, but you got to get up and walk through them and get your exercise done if all possible. At least five times a week is what I do. I might take off on Sundays, what have you, church day, but normally that's what I do. But every day is nice for me. I like to get up in the morning, watch the animals, and sometimes in the backyard behind the fence, there's deer that come through. Uh... You know, obviously the hawks and so forth are trying to pick up whatever uh, field mice or whatever they're, they're trying to get. I enjoy watching the hummingbirds. All those little things that you take for granted while you're working because of time. Now you have the time to sit down and prioritize 
what's important to you in retirement? I think that's the basic answer, isn't it? Yep. You can do, you can prioritize what's ever important to you. If sleeping's more important to you and you want to catch up on sleep, you can do that. Lay in bed all day if that's what you want to do. Watch TV. I just never was into that unless I'm sick. Of course, I'll, I'll take my downtime and try to mend, so to speak. But most of the time, I'm up and active doing things um, that's important to me. Don't have a lot of housework to get done because it's a newer home. It's less than five years old, but there's always something, right? Like next week, I got a, a guy. I think I told you this in the last video, but they're they're coming out and they're installing a transfer switch in my electrical box for a portable generator that'll power up the house and so forth. And I had to get a few things for that: the extension cord, the 50 foot, or the, excuse me, the 50 amp cord with a connector. A twist type that can connect into the box, that sort of thing. Um, and I got to get a few things ready for when the kids come in December. You know, those those things are kind of uh, on the bucket list. Not sure I'm going to put up lights this summer or uh, this fall, I should say, for, for Christmas or so, but I might. I got to get that ready next month or a month after, you know, little things like that. But again, you can time everything. You're not in a hurry. It's all based on your time. That's what what's makes you time, retirement so unique. You can do those things when you want to. And other things that come to mind for me is, you know, I can monthly or I probably do it twice a month. I double check my budget, MIN budget. You know, as you all know, I'm not on budget this year. But normally, that, that that's what I like doing. Keeping track of, you know, our spending habits. Gives you something to do and it keeps you motivated in the sense of staying on target. So those sorts of things are, are, are very, very important for us here. Just reading off my notes. If you've got something that you do in retirement that's important and you want to list them, let us all know down in the comment section. And again, this is Mike from the Retirement Train. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about that and think about what you're going to do in retirement, how you're going to spend your time. Because again, time waits for no one. I, I could tell you a few stories, but I don't want to depress you about more people who, you know, passed away recently. It's just something that happens to all of us, some earlier than others. Um, I try, to, I do try to watch what I eat in the sense of, you know, kind of hard when you're sitting there watching TV, you want a little ice cream or something. That's not going to hurt you too much. But every day, overindulging in alcohol or overeating, I think could be a problem if you have um, certain types of foods, especially foods that are not really fresh. If you buy the foods that are already made up and, and they've got these um, preservatives in them, it's not good for you. Fresh fruits, organic stuff, it's, a lot of, it's expensive, it is, but if you can afford to do it, that's something to think about. But staying healthy is the key. And you're gonna read that in any, any place or book that, that you look at for aging, quality of aging is going to be staying in shape, keeping busy, and keep it on the move. So that's a good day in retirement for me. Staying vertical, I guess, is more important. But yeah, in any case, I hope this helped you. I know it's not an answer to everybody's questions, but it's just what we do in retirement, or at least what I do in retirement. And hopefully I'll stay that way, God willing. I don't know. I wish you all the best, and you all take care, and good luck at work next week. Enjoy your work. Do the best that you can, and think about that day that you're going to retire. And think about all those things we talked about in the past here on my videos. This has been the Retirement Train Straight Talk, coming to you from Bernie, Texas. Well, I wish you all the best. Mike out.